hello friends welcome to java fx gui tutorial in this video we will do the form design and we will specify the x and y axis for the chart data we will add in the next video in the last video we learned about the line chart now we will go to the fxml design so this one is our previous example pie chart now we will go ahead with the line chart new empty xml or you can go for java fx empty fxml 30 right we will name it as 31 now 31 line chart example we will accept the default name for the controller we don't want any cascading style sheet we will click finish now so this is the fxml file right we will right click and open it So in the hierarchy, you can see already a anchor pan exists here. Now we will expand chart and drop the line chart inside the anchor pan. So now line chart is ready here in this stage. So the line chart is occupying the entire area. Here, if you see, we have two axes. One is a category axis, and you can see it is highlighted in the bottom. So that's category axis, and in the y axis we have number axis. So line chart consists of two axes: category axis, category axis, and number axis. Now we will change this category axis as number axis to denote month as number 1 to 12 for that first we will save this so before that we will name our chart so here if you see i am picking line chart here we are assigning the fx id as a chart line click somewhere else it will make an entry in the fx symbol if you want you can save here you will copy this file now we will go to the controller and make that fxml entry to denote the line chart so So we have an entry for line chart. X and Y axis both works on number. So here I'm giving both as number. Before that, we will go to this FXML. children if you see line chart 
there are two axes x axis and y axis x axis side is bottom and type is category axis we will make it as number axis here so i'm just uh, saving it we'll go here now both are number axis also we specified it as a number in both side now we will make entry for fxml i mean the import statement then here java fx scene chart lion chart so this is the lion chart right that comes from the chart package we will add import for this one that's all now we can go back to our fxml now if you see line chart consists of x axis number axis y axis also a number axis now we will pick this one the horizontal axis properties for number axis label we will give it as month number notice here it will add the label once i hit enter so month number that's the indication for uh, horizontal axis or we can say x axis and location of this axis is in the bottom if you want to keep it in the top you can do that let's uh, keep it in the bottom so minor tick count is 5 right we will change it as 0 because uh, we are going to set upper bound as 12 let me hit enter if you see the minor tick is gone control previously it was 5 right if you see between 70 and 80 there are minor tick marks and there are 5 counts 1 2 3 4 and 5 between 70 and 80 right but uh, i don't want minor tick count so i am turning that off then upper bound is 12 to denote the month numbers so 0 to 13 we will be plotting 1 to 12 so let it be like this we'll keep save here now let's come to y axis here sales in thousand you can see that label here minority count here also we will turn off the minority count and upper bound at present it is at 110 right we will keep it as 50 so up to 55 it is here sales in thousand means 10 means 10,000 15 means 15,000 that's how you have to read tick unit we will give it as 10 and here we will increase this uh, tick label gap by default it is 3 right this is the gap let me keep it as 5 so if you see this length got increased and if you want to see it clearly let me keep it as 50 then i will bring it back to 5 later if you see this is the gap so 50 doesn't look good let me go with 5 so there is a gap between this line and the label so 5 looks decent 
so that's all here we we are ready with the chart chart we gave the name chart line so we converted the category axis the bottom one previously it was a category axis we changed that as number axis and y axis also we kept it as a number axis now the x and y axis are ready in the next video we will place some data points so that you will be seeing a uh, line chart let me save this again here in the fxml so x-axis in this are all the stuff we configured right label month number minor tick count is 0 upper bound 12 likewise we we configured the other number axis as well all right that's all here thank you for watching bye